Hey, 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 this is Akebono Gregory Monovis Jr. and welcome to my Bar Top Arcade review video. And I purchased this thing off of Game Room Solutions, and everything that you see on here is customizable, including the controls. Let me pan down here the, the color of the controls, the T molding, the artwork, the graphic, and they all can be added on if you find it necessary or if you desire that now the now the base cabinet starts at two hundred and nineteen dollars and then from that point on anything that you want to add on to it is going to cost you so the base cabinets 219 you'll get the uh, cam lock screws that'll go ahead and put they put it together as they call it it's like ikea furniture it just all goes together and then everything else will um, cost you but you can pick the colors that you want they even have led lights so if you like the LED lights you can you can purchase those as well and then of course all the graphics that you see here like the marquee and and the control and then the admin panel and I'm going to pan over here to the side as you see I'm a Tron fan so yeah that's all in there Guy is my nickname <laughs> just in case you're wondering I'm kind of off a little bit right but Guy is my nickname just in case you're wondering who the heck is G <laughs> Guy G whatever Right, but um, you can go ahead and pick the graphics from, that are pre-designed, or you can make your own, and they will send you some templates so you don't have to worry about the size, but you will have to know a little bit of Photoshop, and in my case, I use a, a Photoshop clone called GIMP, and they can put the artwork on for you, which, is, which will be a little extra fee, or you can do it yourself. And then one of the biggest things that I purchased as an add-on is called the Guts Mega Pack, and it includes the Raspberry Pi B Plus, which is a computer that's running this thing, and a 200 gig micro SD card that has all the games and the operating system on it. That's also running HyperPi, and that's the uh, that's that's the graphics that you're seeing right here. It's in a track mode setup, so it's just a front end front end setup. And then I also got the LED lights that came in with the marquee, the speakers, the audio amp, the power strips, and the power cables, the T molding. The USB front port, so you can hook up uh, your keyboard or you can hook up other game controllers to it as well. And the USB can, um, encoder that all these buttons and controllers hook into and then uh, connect to the Pi as well. Now this image that is provided by Game Room Solutions in the Guts Mega Pack is a 200 gig image and has something crazy like over 8,000 games. So good luck ever getting through that, right? And all the hardware I put together myself, but for a fee, Game Room Solutions will go ahead and put it together for you. The only thing that was not included in this build is the monitor. The monitor was about 100 bucks, got an ASUS monitor. It's a 22 inch monitor. And it took me about 15 hours to build this. So all in all, I had a good, fun time. I learned a lot from it. And uh, let me show you how to make a backup copy of your SD card. Now I'm gonna show you the demo from my Mac. If you're using Windows, you're gonna wanna use Win32 Disk Imager and look at the description for a link on how to make that on a Windows box. So go ahead and plug in your SD card and it should show up under devices and say no name and then you're going to want to go up to applications and then scroll down to utilities and then go ahead and launch disk utility and go ahead and select your no name come up here to file and select a new image from no name now pick your directory where you want to put it and we'll go ahead and call it image underscore backup. Whatever you want to call it, you can leave it as read only and encryption not necessary unless you want to encrypt it and go ahead and hit save. And it's going to go ahead and start writing and depend on the size of the image, it's going to take a little bit. Oh, in my case, it's asking for my admin password, so I'm going to put that in and it'll start writing. And there you have it, folks. It's all done, and it took me roughly five to six minutes to do a 32 gig image. So again, depending on the size of your SD card, 
that's it'll obviously it'll take a little longer and then we'll go ahead and check our file here where I place it and there it is image underscore backup dot DMG and I've got 9 gig written to it so it took about five minutes really for the 9 gig on a 32 gig card and if you want to save a little space you can go ahead and double tap and compress that bad boy but that's good that's how you make an image on a Mac I've seen plenty of demos out there for Windows so I thought I'd show you on the Mac so there you have it folks, I showed you how to make a backup copy whether you're using Windows or a Mac. It's always important to have a good backup because if the SD get card gets corrupted, um, I don't know if you will get charged for another one. I can imagine you will because the 200 gigabyte SD card, you'll have to purchase one regardless, but uh, I don't know if they'll provide you another image or not for free, but uh, you'll have to ask GameRoomSolutions.com for it. So let's go ahead and I'll show you off some games. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.